So now I'd like to talk a little bit about the transition. Um, I've been asking within my chapter um, what they would like to know from you guys. If they had the opportunity to talk to you, what would they ask you about? And many of them were like, sure, the, I agree with the tenants with the Venus Project, but seriously, like, our uh, society is so screwed up and so messed up. How can we go about it the best scientific way, basically, to transition from this system that's so screwed up to something like the resource-based economy? That question is asked every, at every stop during the World Lecture Tour. But really, Jacques and I have no money. We have no power. They ask like we have control of things to manipulate the transition. We don't. It really, a lot of it depends on how many people the Zeitgeist members influence. That's our safety if enough people know about this direction and understand it and can carry it out. Even if something happens to me or Jacques or PJ, if people don't understand this direction, it, it won't manifest. And the more that it, it's not manifested, the more problems we'll have. You know, if it turns out into somebody else's interpretation of what they think it is, rather than using scientific scales of performance to deal with our social problems. You know, look at what the problems are, look at the causes of the problems, and devise something that eliminates and surpasses those problems. So the transition can come in so many different ways, but I think for the most part, it will have to hit people's pocketbooks. As long as they're working, as long as they have jobs, as long as they can feed their families, they're a bit complacent if they don't have enough knowledge as to what is wrong in society and what, the, what they're missing. That's why we wanted to do a major motion picture. Peter's next film, I'm sure, will have a tremendous impact. Jacques and I would like to do a film that reaches the general public in kind of an entertaining documentary way that'll carry the majority of the people who know nothing about this. So as I said, they'll understand what they can work towards. They'll understand what's missing and advocate it when the time comes or before that. So we want to show in the film what life in the resource-based economy would be like and then help answer the questions, the everyday questions that everybody has, and then show how we get from here to there in the film. But, you know, Jacques and I have been working for 35 years in obscurity and, and nobody paid any attention to us. And it just took meeting one person, Peter Joseph, who did that fantastic film, and now look at it, in less than two years we have chapters all over the world and people who are working really hard to understand this direction. And um, they're reading books and mainly they're talking to other people and it's really important to them personally to talk about this and work towards it. And that's what it'll take. Um, so it, it really, we could just meet one other person <laughs> that could say, okay, let's go with the city or let's go with the movie. And it looks like it's getting closer and closer. I don't want to talk about it because it hasn't happened yet, but, but we're encouraged with some, some potentials that we've come across during this tour. I also find it kind of unfair to think about it that you guys spent decades uh, researching and actually working on this type of stuff. And there's some people that look at this documentary the same way that they would look at a motion picture, you know, just with a beer and the chips in their hands, and they just spew out like the questions that they that come to mind, and they don't even think about the fact that all of this has been thought about. But all they we need is really participation of people to uh, kind of try and improve the way things are going right now. Um, one thing that was interesting also was uh, the the teams that we were talking about in the transition. That there will be different teams for different areas of of the functions of the Venus Project based resource based economy basically. How could you talk a little bit about the teams? Sure. Well, there'd be different teams of technical personnel, of people who understand what's needed. In say the first thing, we need to feed people. We need to create different alternative sources of clean energy. We need people who are competent in that field. But the very first thing that has to be done, aside from making sure people are housed and clothed and fed and, and they have energy to, to live with, you know, clean sources of energy, we need a survey of the Earth's carrying capacity. We don't want to build just arbitrarily. It's not Jacques making decisions and telling people what to do. It's based on scientific um, 
forms of perf scientific methods applied to the social system. So first there has to be a survey to know what we have, to know where the arable land is, to know where the people are, to know where the technical personnel are, to know where the industries are, to know where, as I said, the arable land, and where the diseases are. That will dictate how many hospitals we need in certain areas and where we can grow, where we can build the cities and where we can grow different products. We have to test the soil, know what's, what, what it's used, what it could be used to grow best. You know, that the soil would determine that, the test of the soil. So it's not just, as I mentioned, just somebody's whim or opinions. We don't want opinions. We want to check things out. For sure. So the process you just described would be that arriving at decisions, the thing that Peter Joseph always talks about, and uh, that would be another question, is like who makes the decisions? And as you talked about, it would be uh, no one, really. They would think, they would analyze and then base off that.